14.50 milliliters of potassium permanganate is titrated into 10.00 milliliters of a 0.500 mole-per-liter solution of hydroiodic acid to reach the end point, where all of the hydroiodic acid has completely reacted. Calculate the concentration of the potassium permanganate. Like the titration questions from Chemistry 20, stoichiometry is the key to getting the answer. But first, we're going to use the skills just acquired to generate the balanced chemical equation from which we will derive our stoichiometric solution. First, we list all the species present, dissociating soluble ionic compounds, ionizing the top six acids, and adding water in the case of aqueous solutions. Next, we identify which substances or combination of substances are the strongest oxidizing agent and the strongest reducing agent. The permanganate ion in combination with the hydrogen ions are the strongest oxidizing agent. And the iodine ion is the strongest reducing agent. We write out the reduction half reaction copied from the data booklet of the strongest oxidizing agent. Then the oxidation half reaction for the strongest reducing agent read from your data book from right to left. Balance the electrons lost with the electrons gained by applying coefficients to the half reactions. Then add the equations eliminating redundancies appearing on both sides of the equation. This is the net ionic equation. By applying the known quantities of the question to the components in the balanced equation, we use the stoichiometric skills from Chemistry 20 to determine the required concentration. To review your stoichiometry skills, please read chapters 7 and 8 of your text. The application of redox reactions in industry are numerous. Your text provides an example of how redox reactions are used in the production of compact discs. The master disc is made of glass and coated with silver by reducing silver ions using formaldehyde as a reducing agent, which is in turn oxidized to form an acid. The CD is finished off with a coat of Lexan, a plastic used in riot shields and bulletproof windows, and a thin film of aluminium.